This right. is the only game do my own made, name. by the way. Hey everybody, Paul Acevedo here from Windows Central. Tonight I'm joined on mic by Brian and Tyler. And Hello. we are streaming Roundabout from a developer called No Goblin, who definitely did not make Been There, Dan That. Continue. Nope, definitely not. This is their first yeah, game. Yeah, we're playing on Xbox One. It's also available on PlayStation 4, Steam, and other platforms. Man, I need like a, a chart that tells me what all the Twitch emotes mean. Like, I know what Kappa means, yeah, but they, all the rest of them, I just don't know. They don't know. make much sense to yeah, me I either. Know. I need like a translation chart for all these things. I'm not really into those all right, things. All right, Tyler, I'm looking at the map right now. Tell me what the map means, because like I was telling you earlier, I just have no idea where to go in this game, so we got to overcome that. Okay, um... So, the flashing stars are missions. I think, like, that one that's pulsing is, I think, your next mission. Oh, boy. I could have sworn there was an arrow or something in the game that told you where to go. There's, like, once you pick up a fair, there's an arrow. That doesn't do me any good when I'm just looking mm, for okay. fairs, though. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, this is a little bit like Crazy Taxi in that you pick up people and deliver them to their destination in a time limit and all that. But it's different because... There's a bunch of specific people, and your goal is to eventually deliver them all. And you have sort of an open world to explore. Pedestrians be darned, yep. eh? Upper roundabout shortcut <laughs> costs twenty-two dollars. So what does that do if I take it? it? Takes me up to the next map. Wait. Oh, I just unlocked it. Oh, yeah. So where am I now? That was confusing. I think you're just further up on the same area because this this area has a few tiers. Okay. Like there's three three levels or something, and so it's just easier to get around that way. So the premise of the game. Yeah, now you're now you're above the. Yeah, that was a big shortcut. Pulsing. That's star. why I never could get anywhere because I never went up there. I saw it looked like a home base thing, and I'm like, well, I don't need to go to my home base. But it turns out that I did need to Why? change upgrade. What upgrade do I have? Turtle power. Keep your passengers safe. Have to unlock. So more. you have the jump ability now. You actually don't have that for the entire first map. Ah, well, which is interesting. Why can't I take the round trip challenge? It's locked. Oh well, who knows? Yeah, you're a limo driver, and your limo constantly spins in a circle. As I mentioned in the article about this game. It is actually, I believe it to be inspired by a game called Kuru Kuru Kururin for the Game Boy Advance and GameCube. Sort of a forgotten game, but it was a really cool and unique game, and No Goblin has taken the basic gameplay concept of a constantly spinning stick, and they've just built a whole different game around it, a much different game. Every time you pick up a passenger, you have a full motion video sequence that explains where the passenger needs to go. They're really intentionally cheesy and cheap and just a lot of fun, aren't they, Tyler? Yeah. Word. Like, and so the limo driver, all she ever does is this yeah. look back like that. She has different versions of it, but it's it's just hilarious how many times <laughs> she does it, in my Agreed. opinion. Um, oh, crap. And okay. then, yeah, there's, there's I, I mean, you said it, that not every joke lands, but there are some pretty funny jokes. Um. And I, 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 one thing that I remember laughing at quite a bit was you, have, you pick up this young guy who's like a, a coach. And so he says he's a soccer coach. Then you take him to the base, uh, baseball field so he can coach soccer or something like that. Um, and then, like, so he's giving, like, a pep talk. But the entire game is shot inside the back of this yeah. demo. Um, so, like, he's, he's doing this pep talk oh, to nobody who's there because he's in the back of a limo. And it's just really insane you know insane it's funny how ridiculous scoring it is scoring a goal is not easy there we go finally all right now i just have to deliver him there oh and get up there crap there's also a little bit of platforming which can be challenging considering the nature of the movement in this game is so different from other games all right i did it yeah wow is there you can't change the rope the way you spin like spin the other way you can with one of the upgrades. You have to have it yeah, equipped. Yeah, I just don't have that particular upgrade. It's, yeah, you don't have it, Paul. It's really a very helpful one, especially earlier in the game until you get some of the super powerful upgrades. Um, 
uh, being able to switch really helps. Like, because a lot of the puzzles are kind of designed for one direction spinning, and so sometimes you have to kind of just force yes, things. Yes, that is true. You go in the direction you're not supposed you to. You don't spin. die with just one hit, but if you bump into things enough, you will die, and very quickly. Yep. Whoa! Like the direction I'm going right now is probably the opposite of the intended way, but I made it. Pick up. Hey, Rexa. Yep, and that's kind of where the jump helps. Like, you see yeah. how some puzzles he kind of just whips past. Um, other ones are a little bit tougher, but that's, kind of, you know, that's he's doing it exactly how it's meant to be done. It's interesting navigating this huge limo everywhere, um, but it actually works really well. I really enjoyed this game. I'm glad you like it. It is very unique. Like, I, you know, I'm thinking of my best games of the year list, and while I wouldn't say Roundabout is maybe my favorite game or anything like that but what i would say is it's probably the most original and thus clever game you know just based on originality it's really up there for games that have come out this year yeah Whoa. man and how uh, many wheels really do you have to lose what's that how many wheels does he have to lose <laughs> well Every time he hits something, a wheel comes. You do off. get repairs too. Oh, just it. I haven't, I haven't noticed. And you'll see that those blue bumpers that he's bumping into right now, Brian. He, he just passed them. Um, mm -hmm. Also, change your direction so you can. Oh, use, cool. Use your advantage. Oh, I didn't realize nice, it. Nice. Yeah. See, that's yeah. why we have Tyler here. It's he's, been a little while since I played, and Tyler has played off. more recently, so that helps. Not sure if it's more recently because it's actually been quite a while. As well, I'm trying to think. It did come out for Xbox first, though, huh? Yeah. So maybe it was, but I did play several, several hours of it. Although, technically it launched so, on Steam first, but that doesn't play. count. Yeah. PC but yeah, I never got very far into it. Not as far as I would like. You know, it's a game that I would play in short What's... first. Yeah, and it's not terribly long. You're, you're getting close to halfway through, Ooh. I think. But I'm missing a lot of the upgrades, so it seems like there's still a lot of stuff to do. There's, I mean, there's extra stuff to do beyond the story, beyond the main thing. I didn't, I didn't get like a hundred percent in it. I, not a whole lot of games I do, just because there's too much they want you to do. Indeed. So this guy's kind of funny too. Like he has varying degrees of. It just looks like black paint, but it's supposed to be grease. You know, like mechanic? he's a, a grease oh, yeah. monkey. A mechanic. Yep. So, so, so sometimes it's quite smeared on his face and hey. stuff. Um, the last girl. What's what's the driver's name? Do you uh, remember? I do not. Shame on me. Like Mickey Georgie or yeah, something. Yeah, something like that. I I looked in the extras because I was hoping to see the intro again, but it is not listed under there. Let me look it up real quick. But it, it's like a to me, it's like a guy's name, but they have a female playing it. Just another bit of wackiness. You know, I noticed mm -hmm. one of our viewers made a reference to Michael J. Nelson, one of the co hosts one of the hosts of Mystery Science Theater three thousand. And that's something that has been on my mind a lot lately, as well as probably other members of the audience. Cause you know there is a Kickstarter going on for that right now. Oh. Uh didn't it No, end? it just started. Oh I think it started. Oh it just started? Oh uh, maybe I was thinking of another Kickstarter that just ended. Oh yeah man, I don't know. Did I make it? Oh, I barely made it. That part was really hard. You can make your limo spin faster. Do you need an upgrade for that, or can it automatically do that? Um, I think that that's automatic. I don't. I didn't use it hardly there yeah. at all because because it just makes it so much easier to die, right? Right. It's hard enough to control without that. <laughs> oh, her name's Giorgio Manos. Ah, Manos. Yeah, feel free to get as drunk as you like, Shoj Sauce. I got somewhere to be after <laughs> the stream, so unfortunately I can't do any of that. Oh, this guy's a disco dude. I hear disco's making a comeback. Yeah, it sure is. So yeah, I don't know like if it's just the developer's friends or the developers themselves. Who did you know all these little corny characters, but they're all super low budget yes. and goofy. It's very colorful. I like the art style that they use. Yeah, me too. Oops, did I miss? Nope. Good. I'm collecting money, and that can be used to buy different things, mostly different skins for your limo. 
Right now I've got a taxi skin, but there's a lot more. Yeah, you can buy like hats and stuff. They don't, I don't think they do anything. No, they don't seem to, Other unfortunately. Than... Ooh, we made it. Nope, that was not the end. Oh. I think the boost can sometimes be helpful for jumping when you have to jump longer distances, maybe. Oh crap, there's a Statue of Liberty thing here. Yeah, that's the big statue Whoa. of the oh, island. God. And then I died. Where do I respawn? Oh, right there. Thank goodness. Yeah, the, I think it's usually pretty generous with the respawn points. Good thing. Ah, that crap. And died again. Probably lose money at least, do you think? Possibly. Yeah, you. I think so. I don't. I can't remember exactly. Money was never super important to me because, like, like you said, it, it skins and stuff. It wasn't a like stuff you need to buy to get better at the game and stuff. So I didn't worry too much when I lost it or things like that. Shitsu, to answer your question, I am an accomplished luchador. Now where am I supposed to go? Over here to the left. Pick up the supplier. Uh, he's a drug dealer. That's funny. Yes, he did, Icky. We were talking about that earlier. Yeah, there'd probably be fewer of those types of streams. That's true. I am sad that I missed Halloween. Yeah, that is true, Brian. Not that we need to discuss it very much on mic. Let's see. I know, I know. Suffice it to say that I have a figure to maintain. Well, don't we all? We all have to maintain our girlish figures. Andre the Giant supposedly could drink like 30-something beers in a night and barely be affected Jeez. by it. He had a very large body. We need to switch to that military How do I get gear? up there? The, this is... You know, the 3 -0. I was pointing me up here, but I honestly don't see how to get up there. Get, nope, not that way. So I don't think I can jump that high. Oh, I can. Okay. Never mind. I don't know my own strength. <laughs> also like Andre the Giant. Ooh, big cash stash. Those are good to get. Yeah, there's lots of those scattered around. How are the achievements and trophies on this, Tyler? Have you ever looked at the list? Yeah, they're not great. <laughs> Wonderful. There's, I mean, there's a few for... Um, you know, there's, I got maybe like 60 or 70% of them. There's, you know, scattered for beating the game, for getting collectible, stuff like that. And then there's one for this game that's like a ripoff of a, so it's, a, it's like a, an homage or a ripoff of a game where you like have to drive a diesel or a bus for eight hours. Do you know anything yeah, about that? Yeah, the pen and teller game. Yes. Is that what it was? Anyway, there's achievement for playing the game for eight hours without letting the vehicle drift off the road oh my gosh can you wow. idle it you can't no you can't pause it no because it, it veers off the road so you have to basically pay attention for eight hours it veers for about a you let it, let it go for more than 20 seconds or so and it'll veer off the I road if i could do that for Dang. any game no that's like a job yeah like the forza yeah. series has some endurance races and i think i could do those but they're actually going around a track and not just I assume it's a straight path, at least in the real game it was. Yeah, it's 100. percent Yeah, there's. Yeah, it's literally the most dull. Oh man, you that'd be do. terrible. Yeah. Was, yeah, Shih Tzu was talking that about it. That is a bad achievement. Whoa. Was, is this one of the ones where she she drops yes. acid? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> that is messed oh, up. Boy. I got an achievement for that at least. So hey, on the subject Good. of achievements. So yeah, this game is funny. Yep, I'm loving it. I'm going to have to give it some kind of award, I feel. So what am I supposed to do? Okay, I'm supposed to change my upgrade? So Ooh, inflate a boat for cars. Alright, got that. Complete the swim leg. And I do love being able to run people over. If you don't like the blood from running people over, you can turn that off in the options, in the extras, I believe. Yep. Which I would only do if I had little kids, because it's so brilliant. And in fact, even if I had little kids, I don't care if they see little cartoon blood splatters because it's so simplistic looking. But everybody's different. Woo! It's a sign, Icky. Your fingers are telling you they want cake. 
I just want to remind everybody that winners don't do drugs. Certainly not. Ah! Murder all runners. Whoa. This is one of the best passengers. <laughs> Your cats actually like tuna royal bomb? Mine hates it. Now I have to run people over. Your cat hates tuna? Wow. Yeah, no, I've never seen a yeah, cat. Yeah, she hates fish. Didn't like. I mean, are you talking about tuna cat food or did you ever just give it regular tuna? Even just regular oh. tuna, she hates she hates fish. That is unusual. She eats then chicken. again, when I was in Riga, you know, I visited Latvia earlier this year. And mm -hmm. we were at, at dinner at this really nice beach resort. It was incredibly beautiful. But we had a lot of people there, and most of them were Ukrainian, but some were from, like, Russia and other places. And this lady was talking to me about what I like to eat and don't like to eat. And people who know me consider me a little bit picky because there's two things that I just can't stand, and that's onions and most kinds of cheese. Yeah. Really? Not... Wow. doesn't mean I don't like pizza. People love to bring that up. They're like, but pizza has cheese. Yeah, it's got mozzarella, one of the most flavorless cheeses yeah, in the world. Yeah, I mean, it's perfect. I love mozzarella and Parmesan. hate, uh, I don't know, a lot of other kinds, but it's not important. The We were on the subject of onions, though, because I don't know if somebody gave me something with onions or if I just had to order the food without onions, but she was like, uh. You don't like onions? And she was asking me, like, what they were like to me or something. Like, the concept of someone not liking onions was completely alien to her. It was so funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, mm. yeah, I, I think maybe Americans are more picky eaters in general or something. Well, there's lots of things I don't like, but, you know, seafood being one of them. That's funny, because when I see food, I eat it. But mm. I'm not. Man, you live in uh -huh. Florida and you don't uh -huh. like seafood. I didn't grow up here. Huh? Yeah, but you live there now. No, I'm just yeah. saying, what a wasted opportunity. To live God, there well, yeah, I also seafood. hate the beach, but, you know. <laughs> I don't, people kind of give me crap beach, for that all the time. I don't like it, but that's just because I have really... Uh, You've never seen one? Very, very white skin, and so if I go to the beach, I have to put on, like, 12 pounds Dang. of sunscreen. Also, again, there are no beaches anywhere near you. No, there's not. But I have been to the beach several times. I mean, maybe at the Salt Lake. I don't Does know. Does that even count? A lake beach is not the same as an ocean beach. Well, that's true, but... And not the it... Great Salt Lake. That's a brine-filled mess. Where am I? So I need to go down there. But we... I mean, obviously, we have lakes. Everyone has lakes. It's got to be better than the Gulf of Mexico. They've been dumping sewage into that for, you know, centuries. Uh, the main thing about the Gulf of Mexico is that it's very brown water, not because of sewage, but because of the runoff from the Mississippi. I know. Yeah. I know. But when you go over to the other side of Florida, it smells really oh, bad. Oh, that's interesting. It's not... Yeah, we don't have that problem, at least. Oh, that's good. That's good. Here in Texas, where I am located. <laughs> Little one-on-one -on -one said, where's this... Blue and red glasses. <laughs> he thinks this game's yeah, in 3D. They, it it looks like acid. In 3D, that little part. That was really cool looking. I mean, the amount of creativity. You know, just the different scenarios. Oh, crap. That they wrung out of this gameplay concept amazes me at times. Yeah. Got to give the devs props. This is a weird game. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty wacky, but it's it's it works. Woo, made that hard jump. Sick jump. It was fairly sick. Ah, oh, crap. Blew up. Do I respawn on the building? Probably Maybe made your passenger sick. Yeah, that would be... Serves them right for going with me. I mean, how could they not see that the uh, taxi was spinning? Or the limo, rather. Yep, they see it, and they just have to jump in, I guess. Somehow. Hmm. Okay. Drop me off in that alley. Whee! Man, this thing's got some serious hydraulics yeah, on it. So it does. Made it. There's our greasy guy. He looks like a game developer. <laughs> Although sort of the guy with the ridiculous beard. Because in, in game development, you yeah. see the fashionable ones, and there are plenty of them. You know, because most game developers are located in California and, and Washington, Seattle, etc., so you got your fashionable ones, and then you have your ones who have no idea how to 
dress and maintain their body hair and stuff like that. Which is, I know that doesn't sound right for me to say that, but I'm always, I've always been very picky about like people growing gigantic beards and stuff. But gigantic beards are definitely a thing in game development. I don't know. That dude looks a lot like Patrick Rothfuss. If I you know who he is, he's uh, an Ooh. author. He wrote a um, book series called Name of the Wind, I think. Oh, I've just unlocked it. It's pretty good. I do like books. So I've just unlocked a challenge, which is a mini game that you can access at any time from the main menu called Limo Side. Unfortunately, I can't seem to find any people to run over. I think that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Zero hit. Yep, not I mean, there are just no people. Where are the people? I guess I should there are some, finally. <laughs> I died. The challenges have leaderboards, which is a good thing. I like to try to beat my friends, although some of them are just really hard to figure out. Like, I would have to look at a guide or something to actually understand what I'm even supposed to be doing or how to be successful at it. Hey, Zero. Welcome. Yo, Zero. Just a reminder, everybody, please stick around for the full 90 minutes of the stream. We're going to switch games towards the end. But of course, we're giving Roundabout its full hour that we promised. But I also need to shoot a video for another game, so that's what we're going to do. Let's see. Now where am I supposed to go? Yellow dot way up. Man, how did I end up down at the bottom? Now I have to go through that green house again. A green house does not say shortcut to me on the map, you know? Like, the map badly needs a legend. Yeah. I believe it does. I don't know. I thought that was weird that there's no legend. But it's a good thing that there is at least a map. Because if there was no map, I would just say yeah, frustrating. So, where do I go from here? Down and to the right. Oh. Well, you can buy properties in this game. It's like they generate more money for you, like in a lot of games. It's, it's <laughs> odd. But you can't Indeed, it is. Huh. I'm somehow missing the place I'm supposed to go to. Oh, streaked blood all over the ground. That was funny. No, I've already played Limo Side. That's not what I'm supposed to do, is it? Hey! Oh man, that's annoying. Just by driving over that Limo Side thing, it warps me down to the bottom. So that's how I got down there. I don't understand what's going on with that. Hmm. Yeah, that's annoying. Inverted access? Why are you saying bad words? <gasps> For shame. Because Zero is being oh. into me. Well, I suppose that is acceptable. I don't know who thinks they could get drunk and code, but I think those people are crazy. Is that a real thing that people do? Uh, no, they're just... talking about getting drunk and like making video games. I don't think you can... I'm pretty sure you can't do that. Coding is hard enough when you're... I, read a, st I read a story. It's by the, the developer who made uh, that cooking game. Uh the hell they're called let's cook is it Cooking let's cook Mama? no it's a pc game i think it's just called let's cook or something i don't know anyway he writes a lot for uh Gaunt game of sutra and he's on neogaf a lot um hmm. but he said that like to meet a deadline he like was sleep deprived and coding you know close to 24 hours straight and like he woke up the next day and basically had to rewrite everything oh. he wrote in the last six hours because it was just like a terrible you, mess you just write garbage code when you're in right. when you're in impaired yep. it's That's it's hard enough to do it you know well you know there so are people was... i think of mark twain and isn't mark twain one of those guys no edgar Allan poe who like to write while on different substances and stuff you know like some people are able to do that really well well his work shows man edgar Allan poe. uh <laughs> who else steinway or steinbeck Probably Steinbeck, Steinbeck yeah. to do that. He liked to get trashed. Yeah, drinking does nothing to help my writing. Like, maybe, like, I, I might get a little looser and a little more op humorous, which can be good for me, because I always feel like my writing is often too stuffy. But, yeah, other than that, it just slows me down. And especially, I, I deliberate a lot on word choice anyway. Like, yeah. Hemingway. Oh, there you Hemingway. Go. Good, Thanks, Monbox. The teacher in the group. And and the game I was talking about is Cook Sir oh, Delicious. Oh, not familiar with that. Thank you, Monkey Wawa. Don't stoop to his level. Come home to me alive, okay? So, so yeah, these two have a relationship, the one that's on the screen right like now. Like a real relationship? 
in the game, like they're kind of girlfriend and that girlfriend. That is so cool. So where's a property for me to buy? Maybe I want to buy a property. How can I even tell based on the map? Again, it's just a jumble of symbols. The, the greenhouse. Oh, okay. So I need to get that one up and to the right of me. Who is messaging me? Oh, okay. Congrats, living oh. gay girl. What are we congratulating her on? I guess she won the contest. Woo. Yeah. You got to fill me on on chat. Tonight I can't watch chat very well because this game requires a lot of concentration and also just the mask impairs vision a little bit. Hmm. Hey, yep. I didn't see you there. Sorry Yo, about that. Yep, 84. How you doing? Stream team! <laughs> He's very excited about that. By the way, Tyler helped me out with a little bit of a transaction earlier today. Are you guys familiar with the Xbox One Elite controller? Let's oh, go, oh, Giorgio! Oh. Yeah. Did you happen to... Well, it turns one? out that they are in very scarce supply right now, which just means that Microsoft under-manufactured them, Nintendo-style. Yeah, I think they didn't realize how many people were willing to pony up for a $150 controller. Sorry if you guys are talking to me. I am having weird headset oh. issues, but I should be back now. Yep, you're back. But yeah, in this one instance, Good. I can understand, because it is a very unusual type of product, I can see not making enough of it. It's not like yeah. with Nintendo not where they the demand, can't yeah. make enough DSs and stuff like that somehow, even though they've done it well, yeah, the same I mean, a million times. Or Amiibos. Ah. Yeah, I think Nintendo didn't realize how popular Amiibos were going to be, but uh, as far as like not making enough consoles, that's just silly. Yes, it is. You die just by taking enough damage to your limo, your yeah. limo so like, I think getting hit like six like he's on fire so he's yes that's true i'm on fire baby i guess you won't hear that for another 20 seconds so he'll have <laughs> died but... hey mm -hmm. i'm alive <laughs> i'm alive i'm alive i'm alive oops now i died but on the stream you have no wheels i got no wheels to hold me down <laughs> or prop you up in this case <laughs> uh i would say they just misjudged the um demand for the product Whoa. honestly i think they probably misjudged it i know i did and i'm not terribly happy that it's some so awesome popular. stock footage here I, I i railed on it to paul a little bit earlier yeah the shitsu suggests that maybe microsoft purposely under manufactured that is a possibility like tyler and i were saying or who like brian and i were saying maybe they just didn't know there was so much demand it because it's not like they always yeah, make I mean, $150. I would controllers. have thought it wouldn't have sold that well, but... I don't think it was intentionally under-manufactured. You know, they had to have, you know, called the Chinese manufacturer and said, okay, we need 50,000 of these tomorrow, because people want them, and we want to sell them. The story them. is so funny. Yeah, it's... The <laughs> story is so but Yeah, weird. it's... <laughs> those controllers are in short supply, and I sort of do have need for one for my job. And they came back into into stock, into stock at GameStop today. So yes, I ordered one. Aha! Uh -huh. Cool. Well, let's buy the abandoned shack, and I got an achievement. I made a huge mistake. Made a huge mistake. That's the description. That's wonderful. Wow. Ah, uh, she grew a beard. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, and. With the Elite Controller, you know, I'm just, I'm always interested in controllers, controller technology. Most gaming accessories interest me greatly. But it's funny because some people find the the concept of the controller offensive. And I think even Tyler finds it a little bit offensive, which is just amusing yeah. to me. I'm not sure offensive would be the word. I would say it's setting a bad precedent. Its popularity is setting a bad precedent. That people are willing to spend three figures for a controller? Yes. Gladly. I yes. will, as soon as I can, you know, find it on set or, you know, find it in stock. Well, well, well actually, I might wait problem. till Christmas. I just, I, you know, 
my right. original uh, more my power original to you, but I think it's I think it sets a bad precedent. My original Xbox One controller, the bump the top bumpers are starting to wear out already. Well, I mean, it wouldn't hurt for you to get a post June 2015 model in the first place, you know, just because the bumpers are better and the well, better headset jack. I will probably get one with um, the Oculus Rift headset because it's going to oh, be neat. bundled with it. Yeah, that's perfect. So if I'm already going to get that, I'll just hold off to get the, the standard controller replaced, but I do want the Elite one. I'm probably going to put that on my Christmas list. So Sergeant Torrente said, did you get one, Paul? It was Sergeant Torrente. Yeah, I, it is on yeah, order. I have ordered one from GameStop, so as long as it comes through, I will have one. Although, Sergeant Torrente, if you were able to get so one for might cheaper, be the then man I would totally... To, well, uh, we talked to him about it. Yeah, oh, but, yeah that's true. Uh, you know, they are not in stock at his store, so he can't do much about it in the immediate future. But if you did find one within the next two weeks, then I would be happy to return the GameStop one. Let's see. Boy, this part's hard. Oh, God. Those trees, man. Because of the foliage on the trees, it can be really hard to tell where exactly their trunks are and avoid them. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah, not it like that. Looks like you might want to go get your car turning the other way for this. Oh, okay. So Royal Bob numbers. says you buy you buy three games new for 180 and you still won't use them as much as you would use a controller, a which is probably not wrong, but the controller needs to be part of the console price, not compared to games prices. Like, I don't want to pay $400 for a console and then 150 for well, a controller. Well, your console comes with a controller. It's for people who want well, either I mean, a better controller or an additional controller that is also better. Well, I mean, if you really didn't have an Xbox One, then you would just go get the Elite Xbox One with the hybrid SSD hard drive and the yeah, and that's controller. actually a better deal than buying everything separately. I, and that's I a really doubt, good deal. I doubt that one sells up. Well. They're sold out. Yeah, and I, I totally would have bought yeah, one if I could. They weren't manufactured it. as much because they don't have the controllers and stuff. Like that, that is true. There is a I, there's no of there's no way that bundle was produced as much as like the Gears and Tomb Raider bundles. Probably not. Or the Halo Five bundle, I would assume. Or the Halo was, Five uh, bundle. I didn't know they had a Halo Five bundle. Oh yeah, it's uh, blue. I think like a oh, that one. steel That's blue. Right. It's mostly console. silver with some blue on it. It's to match the Spartan Lock. The console controller. itself, not the controller. But, I mean, they match. Yeah, they do. The all the pictures I've seen, the console looks a lot um, more gray. What do you think, Tyler? Than the controller. You just said it was blue. I don't know what it looks like. You can't say that the console is more gray if you said the console is blue. Those two things are incompatible. So lockdown says no one's forcing you to buy one, which is true, and that's not true. I, I, what I'm saying is I don't like the precedent of charging $150 for a controller. I don't well, I don't like that people are so willing to pay that much. If Sony bothered to put out you know an awesome controller like that, people mm -hmm. might pay for it. And right, it doesn't have anything to do with Sony. I don't know. Microsoft. You might feel a little differently. No, so, I wouldn't. I, there there were already companies who. Yeah, Scud had these controllers. Right, but and they were very, very, very like niche, niche companies. You know, I, I don't really know anyone that uses one of those pro type controllers. But now that Microsoft's getting into the business, my concern is what stops them with their next consoles from just making a crummy pack in controller and making a. a "Quote unquote elite controller that's really just necessary to use because the pack in's so crummy, and then selling that for one hundred fifty dollars, then people probably wouldn't buy the yeah, console. Yeah, that's a that's a weird concern. I to mean, have. in that in that instance, I don't think vote so. for you. You You're vote with paranoid, your dollars. Tyler. And if, I don't right, know. I'm not. Don't I'm, give you I'm not saying it's going to happen. I'm saying it's a people bad bought N sixty four and those had a ridiculous controller. That always had a ridiculous controller with no end in sight. You also don't know how good bad the controller is when you're buying a console, especially at launch. So, Well, you just don't buy a console on the day it launches. Well, I do, but I mean, you guys don't have to. A lot of people. But you're in a special a situation. Of, a ton of people do. I am. They both never. sold over a million in their first month. Well, the first month is fine because then you'll have seen the reviews. That's true. But the first day, that that's is crazy. a little risky. Oh, come on. No, that's just crazy, man. Right, but I'm not I'm not talking about a well informed consumer because I don't think a well informed consumer is spending hundred fifty dollars on a controller either. But 
you know, me and you are probably pretty good about what we buy, and you yourself say you're pretty cheap about games and stuff like that. That's not how the average person thinks. Like, I guarantee you the, the PlayStations were sold out on day one. The system? Yeah, the systems. They probably were. Yeah. Sure. And that's just because they can't manufacture enough of them on time. Right. Being strapped for cash like they are. <laughs> Yeah, Sony is pretty bad about that sometimes. <laughs> Oops, this is tough to navigate. Oh, God. Um, yeah, I don't know. Is the goal to, like, knock down all the corn? Is that what yes, you're doing? Yes, I was actually yeah, harvesting crops. Ah, yeah, okay. the thing is, companies like to have products at different price points to meet different types of consumer demand. So, again, just because a luxury product exists doesn't mean that they would get rid of the affordable product or sabotage the affordable product, like... The goal is not, uh, there's just no way they could expect everyone. And in fact, the Wii U kind of shows how having a really expensive pack-in controller can backfire severely. Yeah, there's, I mean, if you wanted to buy the controller for the Wii U separately, it was $150. The beard. <laughs> yeah. Man, I wish shaving so was So nobody that has two Wii U screen controllers, whatever they're called. Well, it supports yeah. it. You just um, no games needed. No store would sell it. I don't well, think don't Nintendo. Yeah, you have to order it directly from Nintendo, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you do. Right, number two against friends. That's not so bad. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I don't know. We don't we don't strongly disagree on gaming industry concepts very often, but I, I do think you're just being paranoid. Nope. I'm not. Yeah, I mean, same I don't thing. really see... Same thing happened with DLC. It's not the same thing. I, I'm I mean, kind of in agreement so with different. Mongbox. It is the same thing. I'm kind of in agreement with Mongbox. How is it any different than, you know, having the ultra-cheap headset versus, you know, the $300 one? That's true. You got to give people expensive choices. expensive headset set of mostly, precedent. It's mostly about the fact that the controller is packed in... And if this is being made by a first party, so it's significantly more prolific than anything like, you know, expensive or cheap headsets or things like that. Oh, God, that's... Oh, this part's tough. The game definitely gets harder as you go on. I mean, I mean, I guess you could compare it to headsets moderately well. Um, but, you know, they, they include cheap pack-in headsets with both the Xbox One, and especially the PS4. I actually can't speak for the Xbox One's pack-in. The PS4's pack-in headset was terribly cheap. Xbox One um, was same right. as the it's 360, not great. So, basically it's real fragile. But... Yeah. So I mean, that's that they're giving you a really cheap option, and then there's really expensive options out there that work a lot better. So who's to say that's not going to happen with controllers? Well, things cost different amounts of so money to make. Does? You know, I mean, I, although obviously I... they're making a lot, a decent amount of profit on the Elite, I'm sure. However, it still obviously costs way yeah, more I to make. So. Oh, they're making a huge profit. Yeah, but on but still, it is way more complex than a regular controller it does have a lot of extra crap it's not like it's just a different right, design it's, that it's, happens to it's cost not more consumer friendly i mean brian says so what but it's do you like paying more for things than if you they're used better to, brian if they're but better they're not yeah, sure better. they're all gonna skeletons. be worse oh i think the elite is a great controller probably i don't know i have nothing against it i think it's setting it could potentially be setting a bad precedent for the future the showing that people are willing to pay 150 dollars for a controller i think for 60 dollars, i should get a pretty damn good controller 60 dollars yes of money. and you do get a pretty damn good controller and in fact the you do get yeah, a damn good although controller. not that we should know, be saying that word so much but um but i mean the bones controller in oh, fact yeah. is much nicer than the ps4 controller in my opinion yeah. especially the revamp i would have one. to say they're on par but oh man just yeah i, I would have ergonomically to say the i like them both. bone controller really is better but not that the ps4 controller is bad at all and it is certainly an improvement over the dual shock the previous one but... uh the previous one was terrible <sighs> I did not yeah, anyway, we, we we should change the subject away from controllers, though. Yeah, Monkey Wawa is right. Tyler's like, if I'm eating ramen, everybody's eating ramen. 
Ain't no steak no, in this house. Not even my, that's not even my point. I don't even know how he gets that. Ain't from no what steak. Said. Well, if you want a PC controller, just go buy the adapter for the Xbox One controller. It's twenty-five bucks. Yeah. Wouldn't it be nice if they just used a, then... a technology that everyone already has instead of making you have to have a special kind of Wi-Fi receiver? Yeah, I think they want oh, to hey, do it you, for latency. Isn't that the exact argument I was just making? Trying to to gouge people for something that should be normal and acceptable? And I 100% agree with you there. That's, that's kind of asinine that <laughs> this mechanic. you have to buy an adapter to use that instead of... I mean, it, isn't there just... Pro, I don't know anything about computers. Isn't there just protocols that should allow you to use the controller uh, with the PC? Well, I mean, you can just use the PC by plugging... Use it with the mi mini micro USB. Yeah. Yeah, you can wire it, and yeah, it'll that's just always... work. But if you want to use it wirelessly, you have to... Uh, yeah. you got to pony the, up the money. The 360 and the Xbox One have special versions of Wi-Fi. I don't know. I suppose the, the idea is that they avoid latency. Because la latency is a big deal, and a lot of people still have it in their heads that wireless controllers are somehow laggy compared to regular controllers. Although, that is... The DualShock 3 definitely is. Uh... It's got a certain amount of delay. Yeah, I mean, it might, but the Xbox One controllers... I mean, the Xbox 360 and One controllers don't, and that has been measured oh, by, yeah. like... Oh, one of them had a problem. ...by one of the foremost controller engineers around. So mm -hmm. there's just no reason to think it, and anybody who tells you that, it's just in their head. So you're saying it could be latency-free without the adapter? No, well, what I'm saying is the they are using a particular Wi-Fi signal or something. They're doing something with the wife with the oh, wireless standard that allows them to avoid latency, whereas if it used regular Wi-Fi, then that would not be the case. And perhaps Bluetooth. I don't know. Bluetooth has a certain delay built into it as well. Sony tries to minimize it, but you can never completely eliminate yeah, so. it. Well, Sony doesn't do anything Bluetooth on PS4, right? I don't even think it's the controller's in. Bluetooth. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. That's I've heard that as well. Yeah, I've connected mine oh, to my that's PC right. before. And yeah, when I had the Titan One, oh. they sent me a Bluetooth adapter to be able to test it wirelessly. So yeah. Interesting, because I know they they went with like Bluetooth for the mic and stuff last generation, but they got rid of that this time. Uh, their microphone might be different just for sound quality reasons. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't realize the PS4 was Bluetooth, but I don't really know much about that. It's probably much cheaper than Microsoft's version. It's if Microsoft's using some sort of proprietary yeah, version. Oh. Like if, if Sony wanted to use something like that, it would be significantly more expensive than using Bluetooth. Another thing with the, yeah, the yeah. Xbox One controller in particular is that it sends a lot of audio data over the stream as well, which is a new and different thing. You know, because you're... You That's can use true. a stereo headset completely through the controller wirelessly. And so, again, that is something that potentially could have introduced some lag, and yet they have avoided that. As an engineering piece, the controller is very good. Uh oh, is this guy proposing? He's proposing! <gasps> wow! Microsoft is supposed to send me a chat pad, but they haven't done so yet. And I'm a little frustrated by that, because Microsoft mm. stores have them in limited supply. They don't go into wide release until next week. Strange way to do the launch. I do like that there's a mute button on the official chat pad. That's yeah. nice. It seems a lot nicer than the Nyko hey. type pad, although I've really enjoyed having the it's, Nyko type pad. It's Alex Skywalker. Yo, Alejandro, we haven't seen you in a while. Hope you're doing well, hey, Mr. Hey, busy all the time. Um, what would you need to mute on a chat pad? Like, I don't get what What do you mute? The headset microphone. Yeah, because see, with a, with a bone controller, you can just use any plain old headset. It doesn't have to be the one that has the built-in mute and stuff. And so if they put the mute yeah, button the new on, on built into the controller, then when you use that plain old headset, you still have the mute function. Does that make sense, T-Dog? Hmm. Um, I think so. Like, how would you mute it if you're using the pack-in? The pack-in one has a built-in. It's got a button on it. So we're talking about just using okay, a plain so it's one. Only, it's only for headsets that don't have mute I mean, it's functions. not only for them, but that's the that's the idea. But, but I mean, that would be where the benefit yeah, exactly. comes from. Yeah, oh. 
I mean, it's better than not being yeah. there for sure. And it prevents you from needing the headset adapter. Some people might want or need the headset adapter, but as far as I know, it kind of doubles that functionality. Just everything the headset adapter does. I could be wrong about that, but that's what the product description makes it sound like. <laughs> A baby. You guys and your adapters. Oh over my there. gosh, this story. Like, it just keeps surprising you. It gets weirder and weirder. Yeah, it's 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 strange. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is so weird. I haven't played this game at all, so this is all, you know, strange and new to me. Yeah, it's fun. It's goofy and fun. It's, you know, five to six hours probably for the main story. Then you can have a few <laughs> more for collectibles. Um, but I mean, it's, it's well worth the money. Get around these airplanes. Dude, the spinning airplanes at the airport area are the hardest part yeah, of the game. Yeah, they're awful. Yeah, I just try and jump past them as oh, much really? as I can. Blow me up. Because they, they, they spin at a different speed than you spin, so it's it's like ridiculously hard to get the timing. Zero, right. you've had too much hashish, man. You gotta put the pipe down. Those Genesis, Genesis controllers. Six, yeah, no, I mean, the six button controller. For the Genesis, it's nice that they released one and everything, but yeah, no, no way is it like a precision controller. I'm, he's joking, but I mean, like the the Saturn six button controller, <laughs> on the other hand, is considered one of the best six button controllers ever made, and I agree. I didn't have enough games for mine to really judge one way or the other. My Saturn, that oh is. man, I have so many games for it. I, I mean, obviously the only one you need is Saturn Bomberman, but you might as well have had Street Fighter Alpha 2 and some other good stuff. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Change upgrade. Can I get it? No. Run over 2,500 pedestrians. Man, I haven't run over nearly enough, but th there just aren't enough pedestrians. You go through so many areas with... Oh, you can find the, yourself a shopping mall. Upgrades and stuff. The beach in the second area was where I ran up the stallion yeah that's what i should have been doing just <laughs> hang out at the beach but I, there's too many areas with no pedestrians they should just populate them more if they're going to tie unlocks to it what's everybody having to drink tonight i'm enjoying a diet monster of course who's that from coke zero not drinking anything. Oh. All right. Well, whoever that was, thank you. I'm afraid we don't have the pop up on during official streams. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, I got an email notification. I can yeah, probably check. See. John Preble. Ooh, light cycle. Oh, I, I should not say that. Ah, uh, <laughs> went and let the cat out of the bag. Yeah. Thank you, yes. Light Cycle. Light Cycle is awesome. One of our long time viewers. It always takes me a minute because I have to uh, translate the PayPal name into who Ooh. that is. And that reminds me, haven't there been. We probably need to catch up a little on that, if you don't mind. There's probably yeah. a little bit of money in there. I'd have Let's to see. look. Wow, oh, there's quite a few adult beverages in Ooh. chat tonight. Lucky guys. Oh, so hard. <laughs> Does yeah, it count if they pedestrians like, run else into the chain link it. fence and kill themselves? Oh my god. I can no longer fight. Man. Is this the end of the game? Because it better at least be the end of the game, because making it horribly difficult is not very cool. It doesn't fit the um, style of the game at all. I don't think you're at the end yet, no. We have a few friends, and we probably all know people like this. You, this is the boost when you jump, and it sends you jumping yeah, further. That's a well, good point. That might help. Oh, you got through it, looks like. But nope, I have a few friends did. who feel like uh, no game could ever be hard enough, you know, and they just absolutely love the concept of difficulty, but... Yeah, Royal Bob. It bas it's mainly <coughs> him, you know, and I... It, with Royal Bob, it's hard to know how much he's joking and how much he actually means it because that's his online persona, for better or worse. Hmm. hmm. Wait, does Royal Bob like Spelunky? That's a hard game. That's a good question. You should ask him. But I mean, yeah, anytime we talk about difficulty, he will say something to that effect. And. Yeah. Um, ooh, I found a new horn. That's neat. I like challenging games a lot. Um, but not all of them. I don't. I don't know how to say it sometimes the challenge the, the high difficulty level clicks with me 
Um, and sometimes I just get super frustrated. Yeah, it's a matter... It's just like with movies. It's a matter of tone management. Like, you want the game to have a certain tone, so a high degree of challenge fits some games very well, and there are other games in which it is inappropriate and actually hurts the game. And so that's why you, you but, can't just have this blanket, oh man, I just I think everything should be hard, because every game is trying to craft a certain experience and feeling, and you want it all to work together, not have parts in conflict. Yeah, I, I don't... I think of a good example of a game that I felt like really over inappropriately had difficulty. There's There's been some that I've written about, but I can't think of one off the top of my head. Maybe, yeah. I mean, Infinity yeah. Runner certainly had parts that were way too hard, but then again, Infinity Runner is just a train wreck. I don't think they thought about tone at all. Right, it, the difficulty's not what makes the game bad. It doesn't yeah. help the game when it it's gets It's just everything hard, but... <laughs> makes that one bad. Yeah. So it's still... And yet, some people actually like Infinity Runner and like Spectra, and those are two of the worst games I've played. But it just goes to show you different Yeah, I've, I've heard people that like them. So, Robob, do you play Spelunky? Seems like a game you could get into. I didn't realize Bob was uh, into playing video games and dresses. <laughs> oh, I thought that went without saying. Oh, oh, sorry. I didn't realize his middle name was <laughs> Herbert. Some people... Some people wear masks when they play games, and some people wear dresses, you know? <laughs> gotcha. See, in Cloudberry Kingdom, I really enjoyed, but yeah, the last levels... The last the last few levels are unfairly hard, yes. But <laughs> the game is pretty challenging throughout, but a lot of fun after working on oh, it. I can think of uh, one where the uh, difficulty doesn't work well with the game, and that's Guacamelee. And I'm not talking about the whole game, but the thing about Guacamelee is that... The farther you get into it, the harder it gets. And for a Metro, Metroidvania-style game, it's possible to take that concept way too far. Because actually one of the most fun things about that particular type of game is that you are supposed to feel more powerful the farther into the game you get. You unlock all these new abilities and stuff, and basically you're able to overcome greater challenges. But then Guacamelee, unfortunately just throws so many enemies at you and they have to be defeated in very specific ways we're talking about at wow. the end of the game not throughout the entire game but it's just it's an example of a game getting worse as it goes along whereas that particular type of game usually gets better as it goes along i'll, I'll disagree uh -huh. with you on guacamole a game that we've got you think it should be harder difficult. as it goes along no, I don't. I, I never had it. I can understand maybe some of the platforming in the end game when you're collecting all the pieces of the mask, but I never had too much challenge. With I didn't mind the there. the platforming actually. It's more the combat, and it's not. I wouldn't say horribly difficult or anything like that, but it's. I, I don't know. It, like I said, I feel like the combat becomes very grindy and unpleasant. Yeah, I don't. I don't think so at all. Mm. I would have to say Bravely Default was the uh, worst offender for ridiculous difficulty jumps towards the end of the game. RPG don't aren't, aren't RPGs kind of famous for that, like with last bosses and Sometimes. stuff? Not this one. It okay. got ridiculous. Some of them are, but Bravely Default, you're going along so fine and dandy, and then all of a sudden it gets crazy. I'm... You know, it's a big part of the story, which is why I won't say what causes it, but it it's it jumps significantly. Let's see, where am I? And I hope they don't do the same thing in the sequel. Pick up the tourist. Yeah, why not? Okay. We'll make this our final passenger, and then we will switch games. I don't suppose we've mentioned that we stream a different Xbox One game every Saturday, and most of these games are also available on PlayStation 4 and Steam, and we usually try to give away copies of the game for every platform, if available. The odds of winning are always really great, although there was somebody recently who felt that the odds were not good enough for him, but I think he's sort of... <laughs> was that that email you sent me a while back, or did you have another issue recently? Uh... I, yeah, it was not to do with an email, more like a Twitter and article comments. Yeah, but okay. he, 
to be honest, it seems like he was just kind of a fair weather viewer, and that was disappointing. Oh, by the way, real quick, I will change my paint scheme just to show a different one. Let's see. We'll go with the spooky limo. Ooh, it's transparent. That's weird. Of course, that's going to look odd on the video, but hey. Yeah, still, the odds are much better than most contests you will encounter in your life. Oh, yeah. Well, that's very true. The odds are very yeah, good. They in tend this. to be about one in five or so. Sometimes even better than that. Sometimes a little worse. But if you pick platforms that uh, aren't normally represented in this in this uh, group, your odds are that much does much help higher too. But sometimes <laughs> one in two. But even with Xbox One, I would say they're still pretty fair. If you just keep coming, yeah, it'll eventually yeah, win. There was generally good. good. There was 30, 30 total entrants in the last contest, so probably about 20, maybe a little bit less than 25 oh uh, Xbox entrances, because obviously that's the, the vast, vast majority is for Xbox One. Um, but you had, what, five Xbox One codes or four? For for this contest, four. If you mean last week, was, five so, must have been. No, I'm just saying, yeah, this week. So four out of 25 is just about one in five word so that's not bad at all because yeah one, not one everyone six. who shows up enters the contest some people already have the game or maybe they just don't think they would right. want to win that game or whatever so yep. or they want it on a different platform yeah all kinds of different reasons but man this part wow, is why weird. is your vehicle all wavy? i picked the ghost car but oh this part oh. is really tough i i know i must be approaching it from a bad direction or something let's try this way can we get around this way yeah, that worked. Oh, that was a lot better. I had to work smarter, not harder. I like the guy, I like the guy that he's shuffling around right now. The, the chunky Canadian huh. dude is funny. Oh, he's like playing with Canadian stereotypes, huh? Yeah, I think it's Adam actually playing the role. You no, know, I was going to say that there was a certain resemblance of character there. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he's a... Uh... Remember he said he was starring in that new game. He had a few lines in this new video game, and we didn't believe him, but... That is so cool. There Congratulations, he is. Adam. Congrats. Congrats to Zero on Twitch for being part yeah, of that. Yeah, and I just bought a new property, by the way, and that will increase the amount of money I can make in the game, as we talked about. There are some good pedestrians to nice. hit here. That's nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. so this has been Roundabout from No Goblin. It costs fourteen ninety nine. By the way, if you didn't win tonight and you're a Steam gamer, the Steam version is on sale as of this stream for three seventy four. A super good deal for what is a very creative and amusing 75%. game. Seventy five percent. Yeah, great, great deal. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You'll have fifteen dollars worth of fun out of it. You'll definitely have four dollars worth of fun Easily. out of it. Easily. So if you enjoyed watching me play, or if you enjoy the concept at all, and again, if you're a Steam player, then grab that version up. But even at the regular price of fifteen dollars. You know, I, I consider it a good value, and I'm sure it also goes on sale sometimes on Xbox One, or it, it will over the course of time. Yep. They're not as not as frequent as PC games, and sometimes not quite as good of deals. But if you're patient, you can get yeah. it on sale. But this this game's worth full price. Absolutely. Right on. So thank you very much, No Goblin, for the prizes. Everyone, please stick around. We will take a quick restroom break, and we'll be right back with a little bit more of the stream, and the final leg of the contest. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Twitch. And remember, don't hate. Appreciate. Have a good one. Give it a few seconds.